Bless you, insert family. Today marks a very special day for me. 33 years ago, my mother delivered me into this planet. I came here not knowing what kind of world to expect. Through this life journey, I have come across incredible people like you that have helped me and inspired me to be who I am today. Today, my physical body has reached 33 years of existence. A metaphysical number that has a specific vibrational frequency. It's like a spiritual light code. The number 33 relates to the attributes of expansion, discipline, and courage, and all of this comes with a great responsibility. I remember clearly being a young boy, imagining how will I look when I'm 33 years old. Not really, I asked myself that same question really 25 years ago. Now, here I am, 33 years later, trying to understand my purpose and put together the pieces of the puzzle. For some, a birthday is just a number. For me, it encodes time code to give perspective to my current state of existence while I am on this planet. I prepare this video recording as a time capsule for the next 33 years. When I'm 66, I will play back this video and remember this day and this time period of my life. I can even express and imagine what the next 33 years will be like with the advancements of technology, implants, body augmentations, life extensions, and an unstoppable transhumanist future. I wonder how many of these 33 year old recordings I will make. The very fine line between life and death is disappearing. And for me, it gives me an advantage to keep enjoying this incredible planet, its beauties, and share it with my beautiful earthen family. 33 is here for me. After experiencing health issues this past couple of months, I have nothing but gratitude to be able to be here today. Life is an incredible journey and we are all, we are all here so lucky to be able to experience physicality in such an exciting sector in this part of the galaxy. Jesus reached enlightenment when he was crucified at age 33 in 33 AD. The name of Elohim appears 33 times in the Genesis story of the Bible. In the al ghazali Islamic theology, you live in an eternal existence in heaven at being age 33. In the Vishnu Vedic traditions, 33, di 33 divinities exist age after age. The Temple of Solomon was a cube that measured 33 and 33 feet, and it stood for 33 years before it was destroyed by King Shishak of Egypt. Anyways, I can keep on and on and on on the similarities and the correlations of the sacred number 33. To me, it means a new stage, a new beginning, something new and incredible. And with this comes a great responsibility. Turning 33 is not just a number or a change of body, but it's a change of heart. My hand does not end where yours begin. We're all on this together. We won't make it till we all get there. And may all beings coexist and live in harmony and may all beings be happy. Every day is a choice. Reinvent yourself. You are in control. Let's co-create the next 33 years into a utopian future. The power of the future is in our hands. We are the next generation that can restore the planet back to its original form. Let's go for a very future. Thank you for listening. Yours truly, Guillermo Alarcón.